In accordance with YouTube guidelines, the following video is for educational purposes only. This is covered under educational, humorous, or music-related references about recreational drugs or drug paraphernalia, where the intent is not to promote or glorify illegal drug usage. To be clear, the following video does not glorify the use of drugs. It is also not graphic, since it does not show the consumption of any illegal or legal substances. The following video is strictly educational, and was made to help reduce the amount of harm or potential harm that could be caused by these substances, so that people watching can understand just how powerful and dangerous these substances have the potential to be. Hey guys, Bear here. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my very first experience with 5-MeO-DMT, which is the medicine that comes from the Sonoran Desert Toad. So I've done ayahuasca experiences or ceremonies in the past in places such as Peru and in Costa Rica. And I've experienced a lot of healing from those ceremonies to heal past traumas. But lately, I felt like I needed more clarity about my goals and my path. So I decided to do a sacred toad ceremony with a local church here in California. And I was going to, I decided to smoke 5-MeO-DMT. So in the following video, I'm going to talk about my experience and how it felt. Okay, so what is, first let's take a look at what is the Sonoran Desert Toad? Well, the Sonoran Desert Toad, which is also known as the Bufo alvarius, has a smooth leathery skin and is olive green or mottled brown in color. Now this toad is usually found in Northern Mexico and the Southwestern United States. And it exudes toxins from its glands within its skin. Now these parotoid glands produce the 5-MeO-DMT and bufotenine. Both of these chemicals belong to the family of hallucinogenic tryptamines. When vaporized, a single deep inhale of this substance, of this medicine, can produce strong psychoactive effects within 15 seconds. And after inhalation, the user usually experiences a warm sense of euphoria and strong visual and auditory hallucinations. Now what's interesting is the toad was recurrently depicted in Mesoamerican art, which some authors have interpreted as indicating that the effects of ingesting bufo secretions have been known in Mesoamerica for many years. However, others doubt that this art provides any sufficient or significant evidence to support this claim. Now, before going on this journey, the morning of the journey, I decided to do several meditations to just get my energy in line and to feel good about going into ceremony. So I did things like a protection meditation where I visualized light surrounding my body. I then performed a personal shamanic meditation where I connected with my power animal spirit guides to ask for their help on the journey. And then lastly, I, I did some exercises to help release any anxiety or fear that I was feeling. For example, I yelled into a pillow to release those unwanted negative energies. And at some point, lastly, I, I did a loving kindness meditation to fill my body with love and kindness in preparation for the journey.
So when I got to the practitioner's house or their home where the ceremony was going to begin, uh, she explained to me the ceremony preparation. Um, we also did a energy cleansing and she taught me how to smoke the 5-MeO DMT. And this included a special type of breathing. So instead of just inhaling it like one does for something like marijuana or, or cannabis, um, there was this special breathing technique where I had to inhale very, very slowly for about 20 seconds. And then I had to hold the smoke in for as long as I could. And then she explained to me, I would then start to go on the journey. So when I finally smoked the medicine, I ended up laying down and immediately in what must have been just a few seconds, in my mind's eye, I was greeted by pink and orange geometric shapes in the shape of diamonds morphing into stars. And then there's the strangest sensation, which I could only really describe as dying. I mean, first I observed my heart slowing down until it was no longer detectable. And I could feel it stop. So additionally, I observed my breath slowing down until it was undetectable. I could no longer feel it. It felt like that had also stopped. And lastly, my body felt like it melted away into nothing. Now, I was slightly scared of this dying process, but I remembered my meditation practice, the one I do daily, my mindfulness meditation practice, and I just let go. At some point, I became a single point of consciousness in a vast sea of lights that were all merging and changing together. Sometimes I felt like I was part of a pool of colors. Sometimes I felt like I was part of a river, all made of beautiful, colorful lights. And what was amazing was I, I felt this immense love, I felt this immense oneness, I felt this bliss. And I heard the name of God being chanted. I was nothing and yet everything at the same time. There was no time, and it felt like one second, but it also felt like forever. It's that sense of timelessness that people talk about when they go on these journeys. I was convinced that I had become part of the rainbow, the very fabric of existence. Now, near the end of this, I felt this overwhelming sense of nausea. I started dry heaving and just throwing up into the air. My consciousness was still in this other realm, this, I can only really call it heaven maybe, this heaven realm or this 
this higher dimension. But I could also feel my stomach retching and spasming back on Earth. And it actually felt good. It felt good to have a slight sense of my body. I, I felt relieved. And on some level, I felt, uh, I thought, okay, good, I, I'm purging. And purging feels really good. Okay, so suddenly I felt this tugging sensation, like somebody had uncorked the bottom of the ocean I was in, the ocean of lights, and I felt myself being pulled back down into my body. And I saw a bright blinding light. And again, there's this feeling of just being sucked back down. I traveled back down a tunnel of light and I could feel my body. And I opened my eyes and I just started to, to cry. Tears rolled down my face and I felt immense love. I felt immense gratitude. I felt immense joy. And I felt this sense of connectedness and understanding. The guide in the background, the priestess, was playing a glass sound healing bowl. And it felt like the bowl emitted waves of pure love. I felt sound waves of pure love comforting and engulfing my body. Later, I held my hands to my chest and I just kept saying, thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for love. Thank you for existence. I felt like everything was a miracle. And the point of life was to just be alive. It was all a giant miracle. At some point, the practitioner or the priestess gave me a hug. I felt her warmth and love. I lay there for a good 10 minutes just saying thank you and crying. She brought over some grapes, some other fruits, and some water. I sat up, ate, and drank. I could taste life and nourishment and the food. It was extremely, supremely delicious. We then proceeded to just talk about the experience. Again, I felt like life was this huge miracle. Everything was a miracle. My body was a miracle. It felt like I was reborn. Consciousness was a miracle. Food was a miracle. Breathing was a miracle. The clothes that I was wearing, they were all miracles. My family was a miracle. Then I started talking about how I really felt the call to volunteer and help others. And that probably was my biggest takeaway in terms of trying to find out my life's purpose or just trying to get clarity on what I was supposed to be doing in this point in time. Finally, after feeling grounded, I used the restroom and got in my car and I faced the traffic back home. And even then, the traffic was a miracle. I, it felt like I was filled with a new sense of life. So this was my 5-MeO-DMT experience. I, again, I'm not recommending 
everybody go do this. It was something that I had to do and I had to experience to just get some clarity at that point in time. And I felt like it really helped me. And days later, I remember just sitting at a restaurant and getting my food from the waitress. And I remember feeling like just being able to get food, such tasty food at a restaurant. And the waitress, I mean, she was, you know, serving us the food. And I just so, and I just felt so thankful for her presence and her service. At some point when I was paying the bill, I was just overcome with this feeling of love and gratitude. And as I was paying and, and signing the bill, signing the credit card, I just started crying. Tears started just rolling down my face, overwhelmed with love and gratitude. And that may be the biggest lesson that 5-MeO DMT taught me, that everything is a miracle. I mean, if you think about it, I just, I came from, I visited a place where it felt like I had died. And that place was just full of light and color, but there was nothing physical. It was, it was like this vast, emptiness full of light and color now to go from that place to this life where we're born where we have the wonders of things like films movies stories art i mean i think that's utterly amazing Oh, I did want to mention that days later, I just, I felt so inspired by this experience that I had this overwhelming experience to make an art piece dedicated to the toad or to the Bufo Alberius. So I ended up making this cosmic toad, or I like to call it the cosmic toad art piece. And as you can see here, I tried to use some of the colors I saw on my journey. And then behind here, I had put the flower of life symbol, just to represent that interconnectedness that I felt with everything during the journey. Anyways, I'll probably talk about this more in another video. I mean, I, I was so inspired by this journey that, I mean, I, I even created a, a t-shirt for me to wear in honor of the toad. I mean, since then, I, I've been volunteering at the church and I've been wearing this t-shirt. I think it's related to the lessons I learned with the shamanic books I read from Sandra Ingerman and Michael Harner, where they said that if you wanted to feel more connected to a spirit guide or to a spirit animal, then you start to surround yourself with that type of symbology or artworks for that animal. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Again, my name is Bear. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like or subscribing to the channel. And in the future, I'll definitely post more videos about the integration process from the 5-MeO DMT sacred ceremony. I'll see you guys later.